you are a mature man and you want to get a little dangerous. You know what I'm talking about? You want to start getting a little funky with the shirt you're wearing. You're tired of being Mr. Nice Guy. All right, you're breaking out the V-necks, only you don't know how deep of a cut you can go with that V-neck, okay? You want to be dangerous, but you don't want to look like a tool. Well, guys, stay tuned to this video because I'm going to show you three different V-necks with three different cuts, and I'm going to let you decide what is dangerous and what is not. You don't want to miss this video. What is going on everybody and I welcome you to this video. My name is Frank Bernardo. This channel is geared for all the 50 pluses out there who want to up their game, look and feel better about themselves. All right, gentlemen, we are talking about the danger zone with V-necks, okay? What exactly is the danger zone? Well, you see this little peak, this little cutout right here? This is called the danger zone. Well, obviously this shirt doesn't qualify for the danger zone. This is the safe zone. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this v-neck first. Okay, this is probably the most safest cut out of the three v-necks that I'm gonna show you. If you are super conservative, okay, this is the shirt for you. Why? Because it's not showing any of your chest. Okay, it does get away from that rounded uh, neckline, which I can't stand. It does give you a slight V, gives it a little accent. Okay, now when choosing your v-neck, gentlemen, okay, we need to pay attention to the cut and the fit. When I say the cut, I'm talking about the cut along the waist and the fit in the shoulders, okay? As you can see, this shirt fits me nicely. The shoulders are not slacking. The sleeves and the arms, okay, it's giving me a nice, snug fit. One thing I can't stand is when I see a guy wearing a shirt, a v-neck, with real loose, sloppy sleeves, okay? Guys, your arms are going to look like little, teeny, tiny, two picks okay not a good look so whatever you do make sure that that shirt fits you nice and snug in the arms and then it's the same thing tapering down into your waist and stuff you want a nice snug fit now if you are a guy that can't get into a slim fit shirt okay you can wear the regular but you want about two inches of playing it any more than that you're swimming it looks unruly all right so this is what it looks like from afar okay look at the fit all right, nice fit, side view, back view, other side view, all right, it's a good fit, all right, looks good, I like it, all right, now let's move on to the next v-neck, v-neck number two, now gentlemen, out of all the shirts I'm going to show you today, this by far is my favorite cut, now does it get me in the danger zone, hell no, it's not even close to that, this is very respectable, look at the cut, it's not so far down where it's exposing your man chest, okay, I like it, it's conservative, it's a good look, you can wear this with virtually anything, is it getting out on the edge of nasty? I think it is. But guys, that's what we want. We want the edge of nasty. Why do you have to be the average 50 year old who's got to be Mr. Conservative there walking with their thumb up their cornutes and stuff like that? Guys, F that shit, okay? Get out of your zone. If you feel like getting nasty and getting funky, then do it as long as you can pull it off. Now let me show you what this shirt looks like from afar. <laughs> This v-neck is the perfect shirt for casual. You want to spice it up a little bit. You can put the coat on like I showed you. Guys, it keeps you out of the danger zone. Now, 
Do you want to get in the danger zone? If you do, this next shirt I'm going to show you is going to put you not in the danger zone. It's going to put you over the top of the danger zone. This might even put you in the tool zone. So if you're ready, let's see the next V-neck. So here it is, the last of the V-necks, okay? Now this one, guys, is definitely in the danger zone, okay? It's way below my danger zone. Now there are a lot of men out there that can pull this off with confidence. I can't. Don't even ask me why I bought this shirt. I bought it thinking that I would wear it. Now tell me you haven't did an impulse buy like that before, okay? I do that a lot. I'll buy something and then I come home and put it on. It's like, that's not working for me. And this shirt does not work for me, but it does work for a lot of men out there, okay? Especially European men. This, this cut works with it because it's more uh, a custom for guys to wear this in their countries, okay? Out here, it's kind of risque, okay? Maybe for the younger crowd. But anyhow, this is the last of the V-cuts, okay? Daring, yes. For me, no. So there you got it. You got the daring deep V, the slightly edgy V, or the conservative V. Now gentlemen, I just ran you through the Bermuda Triangle of V-necks, all right? I took you to the danger zone. I took you to the zone that puts you right on the edge, and then I put you in the conservative zone. Now gentlemen, whatever zone you pick, you can pull it off. You are a sexy maniac. Don't let anybody tell you, you can't get in any one of those zones. Gentlemen, that is a wrap for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly had a gas out doing this thing for you. Listen, I'm gonna post up a couple of videos up here. I'm gonna show you how to rock a polo shirt and I'm gonna show you my workout routine and what I eat to stay lean and fit at the age of 57. I'm gonna post those videos as this bad boy is ending right now. If you found this helpful, if you found this useful, then guys, subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I will see all of you in the next video.